the, the foundation of Bangalore. This project not only shows the physical layout of Bangalore, but also tells its rich historical roots and the foresight of its founders. Name Bengaluru comes from Bendakaluru, meaning town of boiled beef. There's a story. The king Veera Balala II of Hoysal dynasty in 1120 AD was fed by an old woman in the forest. Our model also represents also represents the meticulous amount of planning that went into the city. For instance, Kempe Gavada started it by building a strong mud fort and also segregated the whole uh, area into various areas known as petes. For instance, for the and the petes were divided into specific catering trades. For instance, the first one, Akki Pete for the rice traders, the Arale Pete for the cotton traders, the Uppara Pete for the salt traders, the Bale Pete for the bangle traders, the Ragi Pete for the Ragi traders, the Kumbara Pete for the mud pot traders, the Gangara Pete for the oil traders, the Nagrath Pete for the gold traders, the Dota Pete for the large businessmen, Chikka Pete for the smaller businessmen, the Kurubara Pete for the sheep and shepherds, and the Gollara Pete for the cattle herds. I will be probably knowing by this time, Bangalore, this, this particular uh, Bangalore owned by Ken Bhagavad had different exits. One is, you know, Kengeri Gate. A road proceeding towards Kengeri is called Kengeri Gate. Another road proceeding towards Halsur is called Halsur Gate. Halsur. Now it is Halsur Gate. Actually, Halasur Gate. I mean, that was the border. That was the end of the uh, city, rather town founded by Kempe Gowda. So, different at the different places, different exits were there. They were named after those villages. Uh, and and this, many, uh, the four gates were made by the grandson of Kempe Gowda. Yeah. The first Kempe Gowda who created this town mm. did not create those gates and his sons created the four towers and his grandson created the four gates. Four. In the Lalbagh there is one. Uh, Lalbagh there is one, Alsur Lake one is there, yeah. Kempamburi Kere one is there, yeah. Marki Sakati. Yeah. Only when British came, they of course took this cantonment area. And this cantonment railway station, that area, everything that came under British. They had their colonies, residences, everything there. And they, were, they had got their own civil lines. Uh, and Bangalore has grown that side also. Because yes, people from the Tamil Nadu generation. Bali. Thank you. 
the triangle measures the more than 90 degree and less than 180 degree. Next question are this one. Of, uh, alloy of lead and, and it has 50% of each metal. 
the electric fuse is also known as a safety device because it, pro it protects our appliances from the overflow of the current. Now, Pratishtha will explain you about the parallel circuit. So, I am going to explain you about the parallel circuit. Before that, I am going to explain you what is electricity. Electrical energy is from the flow of moving electrons through a conductor. So, if two or more components are connected, the the voltage is same in both. So, in electrical circuit, there are two or more paths for electric current to flow through. So, in electrical combination, even if one of the bulb flows out, the other bulb will keep going as electricity still has a closed circuit for current to flow. So, these kind of electrical circuits are commonly used in homes. For an example, uh, the lighting system. So, this was the short information about parallel circuit. I am going to explain you about series circuit. A series circuit is one in which all the co uh, circuit elements are arranged in a single path. And um, the series circuit is not used in our house. It's used in refrigerators, thermostats, water heaters and light switches. Can I get on that too?